Hubble is best known for its stunning images, along with its many incredible discoveries. But sometimes the science does not come hand in hand with a breathtaking view of the universe. Raise the curtain for the artists creating remarkable impressions of the cosmos. Hubble is equipped with extremely sensitive cameras that capture light across different wavelengths, from the ultraviolet to the optical to the near-infrared. This enables the telescope to create the stunning and well-known images. However, sometimes an astronomical discovery is no more than a tiny dot, and it takes delicate techniques and many observations to get useful information from it. Hubble's spectrographs deliver even less than dots, wiggly curves showing the intensity of light at different wavelengths. Hubble is a fantastic telescope, but it cannot observe everything. So it collects a lot of data in the form of spectrum, for example, uh, something which is not exactly a real image. And that's why we need to step in and create these catching illustrations and animations. And of course, many other objects in the universe, we can observe them. We know that they are there through a lot of you know, mathematics and physics and all kinds of uh, interesting conclusions that the astronomers can come up with from the data, but not exactly through amazing images. So that's precisely how we step in or why we step in and we need to create some catching interesting images to precisely capture the, uh, the imagination and the interest of the public. The artists working on illustrations of Hubble's discoveries have gained a great deal of experience over time. In addition, they are equipped with proper background knowledge. They ensure their illustrations and animations are as realistic as possible. So my, my personal background is, is in physics and astronomy, so I actually studied this. But I mean, in our team, Martin's background is in arts, so we work as a team and we always interact when we create these kind of uh, illustrations and animations. So we complement each other with our skill sets. Our team has been uh, creating these kind of uh, illustrations and animations for Hubble since 2000, so it's been quite, quite some years. I've been in the team for 10 years, Martin a bit longer, so yeah, but almost two decades of, of doing this work for Hubble. Not only do the artists working for ESA Hubble come with years of experience, but they also collaborate with the scientists on site to make sure their art and Hubble's science are truthfully coupled together. In the team we have, we have astronomers and scientists uh, that we work always together with, so we, we talk to them, we discuss, we get drawings, we get input, and obviously then with the scientists that created the, the results we're trying to illustrate. So we, we, they usually get the, uh, an early version of our animations and illustrations, they get their input, and so it is a constant uh, dialogue with the scientists. So yeah, we're not alone, definitely. Frequently we have some very uh, well-defined boundaries and, 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 and conditions that we need to meet. If the star has a certain temperature that we know about, so the star has to be a certain color. So this is for sure. We cannot be ultra creative and just create any uh, color in the star in the very specific example. So if a planet is a given mass, so we know it's going to be rocky or if it's going to be gaseous. So those conditions have to be met. Other than that, we can be a bit, uh, have some creativity, but always within the physical realism, of course. We, we cannot go out of that. While the artists try to make the animations for Hubble as realistic as possible, astronomical phenomena and the timescales they occur over do not always work in their favor. Galaxy collisions take millions of years, only to speed up at the very end. And stars evolve over billions of years, but end their life in seconds. 
This represents a true challenge for our artists. Sometimes you're illustrating a few uh, milliseconds, an explosion, uh, and then uh, maybe millions of years as uh, some other phenomenon. And we want to show it in the same animation, and this sometimes can be uh, complex. But of course, those are more illustrative uh, kind of animations. For many illustrations of astronomical discoveries, we will most likely never be able to check how well they depict reality. However, with the advancement of telescopes and technology, and as space probes are sent to bodies in the solar system that have never been seen before, visual artists are sometimes provided a rare opportunity to check the accuracy of their work. A nice example was, for example, an, an illustration we made a few, few years ago of Pluto, when we still didn't have very good images of Pluto. There were some science results, we knew that there was some methane, there was a thin atmosphere in Pluto, so we made some uh, illustrations. And it was pretty interesting to compare it then when new horizons arrived to Pluto a couple of years ago, and then we could actually compare our own illustrations to, uh, to the real images. And it was quite thrilling to see that they were very close to what, what we represented. Pluto's surface shows how accurately the artists at ESA Hubble managed to illustrate reality. As well as making the illustrations as accurate as possible, the artists have another goal. They want to thrill and intrigue. Creating art that grabs the attention and interest of the viewer. With their work, Hubble's artists allow us to conceptualize and understand complex astronomical data, which might otherwise remain hidden in the graphs and tables of practiced astronomers. We want to create catching and interesting images because the science is catching and interesting.